Let's go over how to read a syringe. Now, this might sound silly, but it's one of the most important things to understand for medication administration as a nurse. So let's dive in. A syringe has a barrel or hollow tube with a plunger, which moves up and down when pushed or pulled. When we look at the numbers on the side of the barrel, they will differ depending on the size of the syringe and the volume it holds. With a three milliliter syringe, it's meant to obviously hold three milliliters of fluid. So the numbers on the side indicate the volume in milliliters and the marks between indicate fractions of milliliters. On a three milliliter syringe, there are marks for every 0.1 milliliter. So 1.1, 1.2, and so on. Now on a 10 milliliter syringe, however, there are marks for every 0.2. So 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, and 0.8. This is so important when you're drawing up air to inject or dosing medication. Now let's look at how to read a syringe when we use the plunger. The back stopper at the top of the plunger is our indicator, but we need to be looking at the correct spot on the rubber stopper. A rubber stopper looks like this. You have a flat end and a pointed end. The pointed end will face the lure lock attachment end where medication will push out. We never want to measure the medication based on the tip of the rubber stopper's point. We also don't want to use the flat bottom as the indicator. We want to use the top black line of the rubber stopper. So when we pull it back, the line should sit at the exact number we want. If we're dosing to five milliliters, it would look something like this. You always want to take a look at the syringe before you prep your meds for administration. Depending on the manufacturer, many syringes can look different with different kind of measurement markings. That's all for how to read a syringe. Happy studying future nurses.